Now, there are fears that the coronavirus outbreak could become a pandemic. This is a very um, relentless disease. <coughs> If anyone is thinking, taking any chances, just take a look at me. Relax. We're doing great. It all will pass. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching this, it means that you are still alive. What an interesting time to be alive in. You don't get to experience pandemic every single day. So congratulations. In this video I am going to talk about everything and nothing at the same time and you can't judge me for this video, because I am the dumb dragon. I won't try to explain everything, because there are plenty of videos doing that. Without wasting your time, pretty much it started like this. Looks like I'm running out of fuel, need to scan where is the nearest planet. Looks like I found a perfect planet with a lot of stupid creatures living in it. I think it's safe to land. What amazing planet this is. What a disgusting creature. Now that this is done, I have to do some analysis. Looks like this is the key for me to invade the Earth. But before that I should analyze what people have achieved, and maybe that will help me to decide, if I should spare their lives. Um, if you're homeless, just buy a house. Uh. People have become overly spoiled over the years. I have made my choice. Pitiful human beings, enjoy your last days while you can. Ha 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 ha. Who wants some flying rat looking ass food? The first person to come will get a free bat. You look and sound like out of this world. Am I right? Ha ha ha. This is not your concern. Humans have bad sense of humor. Just take the freaking bat already. Before everything I should ask. Why the hell you people eat everything that moves? Because everything is tasty. If your logic is so simple. I'm glad that you have this virus. Wait, what? You don't know what you got yourself into. It will be so easy to take over this planet. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm fucked. What a stupid guy. What is the worst thing that could actually happen because of the bad? We're doing great. And that is how all this crap started. But it's crazy to see how much conspiracy theories were created about this virus. Let's take a look. It looks like coronavirus started because of the 5G internet. Be careful guys, because this is not a joke. Scientists put a lot of effort to this research and found no evidence that proves this point. Anyways we still claim this theory is true because we don't give a fuck. What a bullshit. I just got 5G internet in my house, and as you can see I'm happy and healthy. <laughs> Lord Jesus I'm fucked. It looks like coronavirus actually doesn't exist. Government is actually lying and trying to control us. Even though there are countless deaths to deny this theory, we are still claiming that this theory is true because we don't give a fuck. This seems legit. I need to tell everyone about this ugly truth. Looks like I have some visitors. I wonder who's there. FBI, open up! It looks like coronavirus actually was accidentally released by America scientists. They blamed China for no reason. And this time we actually have proof of that. Our secret cameras detected some sketchy shit. Please take a look. 
Hey I was thinking about the meaning of life. We are so small in this universe. If bugs are meaningless to us, then why we should consider our lives matter? We are smaller in the universe than the bugs are in the earth. Honestly I think that you have sniffed too much chemicals. Obviously yes. I have to use our money budget wisely. But that is not the point. So what is the point? Do you see this chemical bottle? Yeah. What about it? This bottle contains a dangerous virus that could potentially kill millions of meaningless lives. What the hell? Are you trying to kill us? Don't worry. I have created this because I was bored. It is completely safe as long as it stays in this bottle. If you don't want to get us in jail, you should destroy this bottle. As you wish. Not like this. You are a f***ing idiot. Now our lives are ruined. We could always blame China. That is actually a brilliant idea. Hey Trump, we accidentally released a dangerous virus. We need to build a wall. And it has to be built quickly. Yeah sure. Could you also do us a favor and blame everything on China? It comes from China. All the conspiracy theories are crazy. Don't believe in everything you see. Coronavirus has obviously broke out because of the 5G internet. Quiz time. Imagine you are chilling in your house, probably watching some Netflix or YouTube. And then you are thinking, I want something to eat. You have three choices where to go, KFC, McDonald's or to some fancy restaurant. Where do you go? I want to go to McDonald's. You have never had the choice in the first place. All the eating places are closed because of the lockdown. Are you stupid or something? Oh my god. You are so annoying. Let's move to another quiz. You are on a date with a girl. And you are thinking. I should take her somewhere. You have two choices. A movie theater or a fancy restaurant. What do you choose? Nothing. Because it is lockdown. This is bullshit. I answered that question correctly. No you didn't. You are actually stupid. For starters, why are you on a date in the first place? There is a lockdown. So you should not be meeting with the girls. What the hell man? That was messed up. By the way, where is your mask? You pissing me off. You realize you are also without the mask. I don't care. I'm the host and I make the rules. Okay let's start the last quiz. I don't want another quiz. Imagine you are fired from your job because of the lockdown. You became homeless. That is unfair. What are you going to do? You have one choice. Ask government for help. What do you choose? Obviously I'm going to ask government for a help. This quiz is rigged. What I was supposed to do? Nothing at all. We weren't prepared for this lockdown. And asking government for help was like asking some defected gin for help. <laughs> Are you a jinn? Well to some extent. I'm a jinn. What do you mean? I'm a jinn who works for government. Are you different from other regular jinns? Enough with the questions. Just make your damn wish. Our boss said that he will be firing workers from their job because of the lockdown. My wish is not to lose my current job. Your wish is my command. Hello sir. Why are you calling? I just wanted to say that this is the last time we're talking. You are fired from the job. What the hell Jin? That isn't what I wished for. I'm deeply sorry. I promise I will grant your next wish. <laughs> I have another wish. Just promise me that you will not scam me. I can promise you that. What is your next wish? Because I lost my job I have no income. Could you give me some money? Your wish is my command. Now you are homeless. What the hell Jin? You lied and ruined my life. Like I said, I'm the Jin from the government. We make promises and not deliver them. We don't give the money, we take the money. The sooner you realize that, the better it is for you. Make your last wish. At least give me a good health. Can you do that? Your wish is my command. <laughs> what a surprise. I know it looks like I'm mocking the lockdown. Which is true. But I actually don't hate the lockdown. 
Although this ruined thousands of lives, I think having a lockdown is the lesser evil than letting half of the population die. In the lockdown a lot of things happened. Let's start from the sad things. A few months with fear of your health. Living without human interaction. Living without real life entertainment. Living with no stable income. And the worst part, living without knowing what the future holds. This can affect some people's mental health. And it certainly did. Look at those numbers carefully. Rise of 1000% in mental health hotline is a pretty huge number. And that is only in the US. If we count the whole world the results would be worse. Although it is easy for me to write everything in the program and convert it to words. But I can't imagine what some people were going through this lockdown. For example. They. Two. Since I buried my son. My son died from the coronavirus as I've mentioned. But not in the way you think. Um, the human condition is not to be socially isolated. And, you, and I heard someone say, well, it's like summer for these kids. It was, it's not like summer for these kids. It's just not. This man's child committed suicide because lockdown gave him so much stress that the child decided to hang himself. And the parents didn't even know what his kid was going through. I didn't want to show you the full video because it is too sensitive for this channel. But this is the perfect example. How the lockdown affected the mental health in the negative way. It also didn't help that people were losing their jobs because of the lockdown. The economics of the world were falling too fast. But it isn't the first time that humans faced a dangerous problem. No matter the problem people always recover because they have a secret weapon. And that is hope. Cause it's like, why go around feeling like shit all the time? I'm sure you're gonna have your days but get up, dust yourself off for god's sake. We're humans, we're born to get back up. You are spitting facts, airsoft fatty. What a strange YouTube name. Anyways, hope gives us the ability to change things. Everything is based on hope. For example the planes were created because two brothers hoped that one day humans could fly. And they definitely faced some criticism. People are not birds, they can't fly. But two of the brothers ignored the criticism, and because they had hope that this will be not a fantasy, but rather possible thing in the future. They followed their dream, and look we can actually fly. Maybe that wasn't the best example, but you get the point, hope is powerful. And people during quarantine, had hope that this will all end. So they used their hope to do nothing. Actually I take that back. Everyone did exactly what they needed to do. Regular people stayed in their homes and kept themselves occupied. <laughs> While scientists were trying to create a vaccine. And soon the virus will be gone. Like it never existed in the first place. Okay, what the hell is this? I know that the protest is for a good cause. Racism is a serious problem that we should fix, and I'm proud that people are trying to make a change. All I'm saying is that this is weird time to be fixing racism problems while we have pandemic. One moment people are afraid to death and buying year supplies worth of stuff, and the other moment people don't care about the coronavirus at all. There is no safe distance in the protest, and where are the masks? In conclusion, the lockdown was a pretty bad experience. But there is always two sides of the coin. Before the lockdown the technology, mainstream media and the whole world were evolving too fast. There was just too much content for one person to handle. And suddenly the time froze. We had all the time of the world to think about what we want from our lives. To read all our favorite books. To play video games as much as we want. And to watch a lot of TV series and movies. Whatever you do, do it 100%. When you work, work. When you laugh, laugh. When you eat, eat like it's your last meal. Either the lockdown was bad or good, depends on your mindset and what you have experienced. In my opinion, people have become spoiled over the years. 
and they forgot how to enjoy the simple things in life. Watching campfire with your friends. Busy streets at night. Eating somewhere outdoors. Walking in the city without the masks on. That were the simple things that we experienced on the daily basis. But over the years everything became boring. Maybe now, after this virus we will appreciate more the simple things and in general be grateful for our lives. But what do I know? After all I'm just a dumb dragon.